Hey, are you out of these? Is every store in town that the paper aisle is empty? Are you enraged when you see a funny video of cats and dogs and other animals tearing up toilet paper? Do you remember the days when five rolls of toilet paper would TP a house or somebody's trees? Of course, you never did it. But I have an idea. <laughs> That's dangerous, I know. But actually, believe it or not, a lot of women who backpack now are not using toilet paper for number one. They are for two, number two, but instead they use a pee rag, which sounds kind of gross, but they uh, wash it and then hang it up on a tree to let the sun get it and so forth. And I got to thinking, well, what about pee rags for home? Because women use a lot more toilet paper than men because we wipe our pee. So what if uh, we had pee rags? So I thought, what could I use? Well, I've got some old sheets, so I cut them up into little things. And what you can do is uh, you obviously, obviously, obviously do not want to flush these down the toilet. But what you can do, you don't want to throw them away either. Uh, have a little bucket full of soap suds. And when you're done with it, put it in the, in the bucket. And then when you start running out of these uh, little squares, uh, just put them in the wash and uh, you can do it again. Now, what about poop number two? Well, that's a little grosser, but just remember before the days of uh, pampers and loves and other disposable diapers, guess what people would do? They would wash out the dirty diapers. So uh, you can have a number two bucket for number two and <laughs> put the used ones in there and probably want to wash those separately too, but hey, it's a thought. Desperate times, desperate measures. <laughs> Have a good one. This is Hilma Volk. Like, subscribe, give a comment, and uh, you're probably going to have a lot of comments, so see you later.